Hi, my name is Drew Blanchard. I'm the technology teacher for Winooski City Schools. I am currently finishing the master's program in teaching with technology and my capstone has to do directly with my job. At the request of my superintendent, I was asked to uh, change what I do and incorporate some new elements in and how things happen at Winooski. So, in direct response, I've created a three-part program. Part one is I've now become techni technical support for our staff. So if they need to uh, learn how to make a movie with their students, or if they need to know how to use a new database system we have, I approach that training from the perspective of a teacher. I'm not approaching it from the perspective of an IT person. How can you as a teacher use this information? Second part was uh, I was asked to create an online learning environment. And being most familiar with Moodle, I set up a Moodle server. And then to train the staff how to do that, I created a six-week course called Moodle Basics. So it's a professional development course that I'm teaching to the teachers over the course of six weeks. The first three weeks are how would you use Moodle as a student so you get to experience what it's really like to work in there. And then how would you, uh, as a teacher, administer courses in the Moodle environment. And so uh, behind me and around me are just samples of that material. Well, technology is, I mean, for lack of a better term, it's where it's headed. Uh, students are knowing more and more about this than the teachers, so that discrepancy is really presenting a problem in some cases. It also affords us to do things that we couldn't traditionally do, but there's been nobody to do it to teach our staff how to do it. So the program here at Marlboro, with its focus on pedagogy and technology, was a perfect fit. And I looked around for a program that would be worth my time, basically, bluntly. This was the only program I found that I really was excited about. And there's an absolutely direct transference from here to my job. Winooski is not like most of the schools in Vermont. We're one square mile, but we are a city. It is, by Vermont standards, an inner city school. We are 40% limited English or non-native English speakers, and that's growing all the time. We uh, have many, many students that come from refugee centers, war zones, who have 80% uh, of our students are free and reduced lunch. Uh, our curriculum is really demanding. We have 75 teachers district-wide. We're a K-12 campus. Technology is helping us bridge some of the language barriers. Uh, students quite often will take to technology quickly and easily. We're using that to help them learn the language. Interesting, one of the things we looked at this year was with the H1N1 potential, if we had to shut down school, how would our students continue to learn? Having some online resources and some online course environments would allow teachers to continue some functionality. We, we have a bit of an issue with a lack of uh, internet connection for our students, given the socioeconomics of our district. That is an, that is an issue. Uh, for the most part, students get m more technology at school than they will at home. We're working to bridge that, and part of what I'm looking at once I complete Capstone is doing some, some work with the community, teaching adults, and trying to set up some grants so we can get more things out there.